Hi, welcome. Well, it's uh, been a strange two or three weeks. It's the end of July now. Um, we're at Front and Long Crag, uh, fishery in North Northumberland. The weather in the last few weeks has been uh, very hot, um, probably around 25 degrees most days, bright sunshine. So the fishing has been pretty slow on all the small waters. Uh, days when you have been able to catch a few and then others when the fish just don't want to play so today the the weather as you can see it's 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 changed it's about 16 17 degrees at the minute um i'm looking over the lakes here there's can't see any fish topping um so the area as are on um so we'll see how it goes today we might have to mix it up a lot try different different techniques different different methods um, sometimes on a day like this um, if you can get two or three fish even uh, it's not gonna, not gonna be like what it is in the spring where you can uh, you're expecting to take every time you cast in it doesn't work like that in July and August I think a lot of people think oh there's no fish in the lake there is but basically they just switch off when the water temperature gets too high but we'll try a few things a day and uh, we'll see if we can uh, beat the doldrums so I've uh, come to the south end of the lake this is a long crag there's a, a northerly breeze which is nice it's putting a, a ripple on from left to right now I'm gonna because obviously I don't know what the I haven't been for a while so I'm not sure what they're taking so I've, I've got a three rod set up um, I've got dry with uh, two nothing flies on I've got uh, a slow um, tip which has got um, a apt worm on the point a buzzer and then a dial back and I've got an intermediate which has got a single uh, damsel on so I'll go through a few um, casts or different, different methods till hopefully we'll get a take we'll, we'll see how it goes Well, I've decided I'm gonna. I'm starting with the midge tip, with the three flies on. Um, apps, bloodworm on the point, as I said, um, and then um, a buzzer on the middle dropper, and a dial back on the top dropper. I'm uh, I'm only gonna fish it, fish them really, really slow. I don't think the fish will be chasing with the warm temperature, so. Hopefully, I'll be able to cover a few depths and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just uh, fishing this method slow with the odd, the odd kick, which will kick that uh, dial back and uh, kick the legs back on the on the apt worm um, the surface temperature of the water still uh, still high normally you would see uh, fish rising but I haven't seen uh, seen much rising at all yet it doesn't say that they might uh, they might not uh, rise at all or they could rise a little bit later on we'll, we'll see how it goes hopefully we'll get one or two and we'll maybe target them with the dries there he goes swimming away in the clear water So there's the fly my first fish has took. Maybe me first, it may be me last, but never know. But it's the it was the apps bloodworm on the point. Uh, everybody thinks you know you can only catch on apps in winter and spring, but this pattern, obviously designed by Peter Rattleby, catches fish all year round. So a brilliant pattern. So we've had one take landed one fish um, on the apps worm um, I think it's 
sometimes um, <clears throat> hard in July and August uh, when the fish go dormant um, you have to be realistic when you come to a fishery small still water fishery when the temperature has been up to 25 degrees you cannot expect fish to just give themselves up and you know get a take every cast you have to be realistic and if you get a few fish throughout the day um, it can be so challenging um, it's it's more an achievement to say get two three four fish on a hard day than in the spring when the when that that take and buzzers every cast so you have to be realistic when you're going to go fishing just um, go out enjoy it try a few different methods if you get fish you're doing something right you know, just well I've had about 10 or 12 casts with the uh, midge tip uh, like you see, got one on the apps worm but I've seen two fish in the last 10 minutes two fish rise just off this corner here so I've gone onto the floater with two nothing flies on ah oh, there's a one further out I've just seen it break the surface so maybe we might be able to um, tempt the one up we'll, uh, we'll try the drives for a little bit and see what happens just on the edge of that ripple so I've got uh, the two flies in there now let them come across the breeze or I can figure of eight them it's hard when you haven't got fish rising it's uh, much nicer when you can cast the rising fish see which way they're going and take it from there but you have to just put up the conditions You know, one moved ten yards behind me fly. Let's see if I can there. Uh... Oh, there's one. Oh, Alec, you plonker! Bloody hell, that was a good chance. Oh well, at least there's one come up and had a go. Oh, Jesus! I think that snapped this. Right, we'll set up again with two more nothing flies. That was bad angling on my behalf. It was a lovely take. It took it beautifully on the dropper uh, and I lifted into it a bit heavy handed and it uh, snapped me trace bad angling but at least um, there's been some uh, fish rising so we've got a chance it's, with it being overcast at least it's uh, it gives you half a chance on the dries so the fish are just basically coming up blind and uh, and hitting the nothing fly. Well, I've had the dries on for uh, about 40 minutes, made a right pig's ear of it, um, snapped the one off and missed the one. Um, on a hard day, you can't afford to do that so never mind did get some interest so what I've done now I've gone to the intermediate and I've got a um, gold tail damsel on see if I can get any takes doing that
well I've uh, literally just switched over uh, to the washing line I've put the daddy on the point uh, and two olive nymphs on the dropper I've just cast cast it in to, uh, before I was doing the first cast and I one took it instantly um, I'm not sure what it took whether it took the point it took the mini daddy I think or has it took the nymph the mini daddy there it is yeah just took it straight off the surface well the water is red hot absolutely red hot Mini daddy. Go on, son. It's like, it's like bath water. Well, that's it. That's what it took. Mini daddy. Nice one. Well, I just changed over um, back to the midge tip with a washing line on and I had a small mini brown daddy on the point and two um, olive nymphs on the droppers I was just going to figure it and I'd cast out onto the top of the water to, to get my line sorted out and uh, instantly a one come up and took the took the mini daddy which was a result so I'll uh, I'll fish this for a while and see if we can get any response on the on the daddy or the nymphs what fish there seems to be seems seems quite high up anyway the water is absolutely boiling when I uh, wet my hands to touch that fish I could have had a bath in that water no wonder they're not uh, feeding hard it's it's not the right conditions for trout not when it's this hot I mean it looks like a winter's day but the water is absolutely boiling so we'll see how we go we might tempt the odd one again so yeah, got a couple in the net and had other chances on the dry so you know it's, it's certainly not hectic but at least there's there's opportunities Fish on. Has it took the nymph or has it took the daddy again? Daddy. Oh. Right, what I've done now is I've changed on the floating line to two mini daddies because obviously I've had action on the daddies. So I'm just going to slowly figure of eight them I'm not bothered if they eventually just get slightly subsurface the fish often smash them when they're just like a, an inch or two inches underneath so we'll see if we can uh, see if we can get any action this way
Oh, you... Jesus Christ, Alec, man, what are you doing? Cast that one right out. And it... Took it as soon as it hit the water. Just smashed it. Took the pint one. Brown one. Massive, but all welcome. There's the, the mini daddy. We'll let him go. Go on. The way it goes. That's it. I just figure if you that one dead slow and you just come up and smashed it it's on the point Jesus, what a useless article. That one just uh, came up and sipped the nothing fly off the top. release well that's the uh, session coming to an end um, I've landed three but I'm more disappointed that I've fished like a wally because I should have had another three and on a difficult day you have to make the most of your chances and to be fair I haven't today so um, my own fault it happens so but the conditions most people have struggled to catch today so if you're catching in july and august you're doing something right as i said before that water um put me hand that you could have a bath in that so the fish aren't going to be overly active in that it's a wonder we're getting any fish really but if you persevere and you try a few different methods then it can pay off um you know, you sometimes learn more when it's difficult than you do when uh, you're catching every cast. So, never mind. It's better than uh, being in the house, in the fresh air and whatever. So, that's it. Cheers now. <laughs>